a lot of cases, a company like ours would find what's called a toll blender to produce the products. If you haven't already, are you ready to meet the fastest growing metalworking fluid company on the planet? Yes, that's Quali Kim. I'm with my buddy John. We're going to create this relationship with you right now to know how they got here so quickly. It's so important to understand that when we're building these relationships, John. Yes. So let's talk about Quali Kim, how you got here, being the fastest growing. You guys are absolutely incredible. I'm astonished. Yeah, well, thank you for that, Tony. So back in, I think about 2005, um, Mike Forrest, my boss, guy who runs the metalworking fluid division, he looked out on the landscape to see what was happening in the world. Nobody was really innovating. Shops were dealing with problems that had been around for a while, whether it was foaming or high consumption or residue or poor tool life. So Mike sat down with the production team, the formulation team. We put some products together to specifically address those issues. Immediately those put us on the map. We were saving companies money. Machines that you're buying, very expensive, equipped with high pressure. If you can't run them because the coolant foams, your investment goes down the drain. So we focused on making products. We focused on the innovation side of it, not just a me too approach. And that really kind of that accelerated our opportunities in the US dramatically. Um, after about six years, QualiChem brought me on board specifically to address helping them build their markets in Asia and in Europe. It's amazing to me how quickly something will catch on when it's good stuff. Yeah. I mean, honestly, when I go around and I'm learning about products more and more and more, it's the great things that we're able to adapt to here at MTDCNC. We're learning, right? Yep. And one of the things that we it's unanimous around the world is when something is good, people, it grows quickly like wildfire. And you guys have done that. And I think it's important that we understand that. When it comes to where you're based in Salem, Virginia, yes. when it comes to growth in America, I mean, what you've done with the customers, I love to watch. Now, we're now expanding outside of the US. We're going into Europe. And some of those rules and restrictions might be a little tighter than we're used to in the US. Yes. And you've had to make, let's say, adaptations, not changes, because the quality of QualiChem is still there. But you've yes. had to adapt to those rules and regulations. Can we talk a little bit about what you've done in your Europe base? Sure. So as a, as a lot of customers might know here in Europe, for sure, some of them in the US, um, in Europe they have what's called REACH. It's a, a very overarching regulation with respect to the health and safety of chemicals, whether they're used for industrial fluids or even for items in the home. So in order for us to be successful and sell in Europe and take what we did in the U.S. and bring it here, we needed to modify our formulation so that they were fully REACH compliant. One aspect to that was we're now starting to produce here in Germany because that's one of the aspects to making sure that everything that we're doing is REACH compliant. Um, not every company does that. Our growth has allowed us to make the investments necessary. You know, let's say maybe we're planting a flag here now in Europe. It's going to give us opportunities to go and support customers that we weren't able to do years ago uh, by having inventory close by, by having a research and development team. And as my boss, again, Mike Forrest, his philosophy is, is threefold. Hire the right people, develop the right products, and find the right partners. We sell through distribution. Without any one of those three components, we can't be successful. So we've mirrored that here as well in Europe. Well, you're definitely one of the right people, definitely the right products as well. As we're learning about this also, I'm going to make a bad dad joke. I probably okay. shouldn't do it, but all right. are you finding the reach that you need? Oh, I'm not going to do it, guys. We're not he doing that. I had to a little yeah. bit, just for a little no bit worries. of fun. Now, I want to give a little shout out to your guys here in Germany because sure. you've been in Europe for quite a while. In fact, yeah. if I'm not mistaken, since 2012, yes. right? Yep. But now you've decided, you know what? We're going to really support the European market. We have a partner here in Germany, and we're making sure that they're supported. Can we give a little shout out to that company? Yeah, sure. So, <clears throat> you know, in, in the chemical business, we had some options into how do we enter the market here from a production perspective. Um, in a lot of cases, a company like ours would find what's called a toll blender to produce the products. Um, and we did that on a small scale. But when you're working with a toll blender, there's always a risk of intellectual property sort of leaking out. So we, we went on a search to find the right partner, um, and we found a company called Unicut Wall. Today we've got Jurgen Wall, the, the owner's son. Um, he's our manufacturing partner. Great ideas, looking forward to automation helping us find more efficient ways to make the product than we even do in the United States. And because of his facility, the location in Germany, it really gives us an opportunity to take that, that three-legged approach, people, products, and partners, and deliver the products to the European market. 
And I've already mentioned the people, I've already mentioned the products. We just talked about the partner, that's that three-legged approach. Yep. There's a video as well about Jurgen and that whole conversation. If you guys would like to visit the MTD channel for that also. Are there any closing statements you'd like to offer? As we've talked about growth, being the fastest growing, growing into Europe, even having coolants that are compliant around the world in sure. everyone's country. Is there anything we've left out that you'd like to share with the audience today? Um, you know, I, th I think the most important thing from our perspective is, you know, we're not we're not a household brand here in Europe. And I think, you know, I've been doing this for 31 years. A lot of shops will select a fluid based on having a comfort level that the product they put in the machine is going to work and help them make parts. Um, we're here now. We've developed the brand name. Our customers can come to us. We have distributors in all the countries we need to have distribution in. Um, you know, give us a call. We'll help to save some money. And if we're going to give you a call, what's our website? Uh, www.qualichem.com www.qualichem.com. This is MTD CNC. This is my buddy John. As you can see behind us, Qualichem, the fastest growing coolant supplier on the planet. Check them out.